Okay, well now I'm going to... This is number episode 5, I think, of my T20 rebuild. I'm just starting to put the cooling system back together. I'm going to start by putting the thermostat housing on. The aluminium one. I'm going to start by putting a very small amount of gasket sealant around here. You can see that, and my head's just not in the way. Put down the gasket. I've got a gasket for it, but because it's quite pitted, this surface, it'd be best to put a little bit of gasket sealant on it. Just to help it. Only a very, very small amount, but enough to make a little difference and stop it from leaking. Seal that out there. If you to my last video, that's putting the rocker cover on and doing some work, yeah, finishing it. Finishing the head. Right, there's the gasket on. Very small amount around the top as well. As I said at the right at the start, this isn't an instructional video as such, it's just how you know, me bumbling through my first sort of tractor rebuild as such. Now as I've cleaned up the surfaces on here with a little, would I use my multi-tool, a little oscillating multi-tool, and this wants to go back on this way around, because this little thread here goes into the temperature gauge, because this is a TVO model. Get them to thread, one. Go around the back of the camera. Get the other one in. Bit fiddly, but it should just bite and they'll go on. Right, I'll get back to you once that's on. Okay, well now I'm just gonna put on the I've got these nice new poses for it. Got the bypass hose one that goes from here to here. So I've got all the newest new ones because the old ones were quite bad. I mean, a cut there. I think they've been replaced in the last ten years, but they weren't really very. They weren't very good. Or at least the top one for the exhaust wasn't very good. So I thought I might as well replace a lot of them. Which I'm glad of now because they're not too expensive. I think I got these on eBay for about maybe ten pounds, fifteen pounds, something like that. Let's get them to fit. I always forget to put the fucking jubilee clip on. Well, not forget when you put it together, but like push fit it on and then have to try and pull it off. All right, what I'll do is the bottom one here first. Wow, well, my gloves are split. That's not being anything that oily. Compared to when I was taking the middle of the engine apart, when you really do want gloves, this isn't that bad. These are the same Jubilee clips. I've got some new ones in case they break, but they're not quite this small. I've got ones for the top hose. So I think originally they were like they weren't Jubilee clips. They were like spring clips, not spring clips. They were like you had two separate things and a little screw between them. Well, that one's on there tight. Double check. That's what's gone up. Slapping that one off a little bit. I can't go any further, like I keep saying, because the gasket hasn't come yet. But that should come, uh, what was it today, the 28th? It should come on the 2nd. Is that four days? It said on eBay it's been posted, so. Hopefully it'll be here, and then I can put all of the radiator and everything back together. All of this bit. But the fan belt hasn't come yet, so obviously I can't put the radiator back on. I need to... Yeah, the fan belt needs to come. That was the first thing I ordered, and it still hasn't come yet. And I can off camera and just get something to see there's all a bit of muck. But I think the camera's a bit too high. But on the timing case, there's all little bits scraping the muck out of them. That's that hose on. Good. 
and you see I've got a brand new thermostat. I thought every time you take it apart, you might as well put a new one in. If it hasn't been that long, like if it's been five years or something, you might as well put a new one in. Because they're about five pound each, they're not very expensive. Anyway, that's that on. And I'll put this on off camera, because I've got to ask people whether I should put tape on here. People probably shout at me saying I'm supposed to, but yeah, how? It's usually a good idea to ask before I do it. Okay, a quick update. It's the old manifold here with a crack in it. The new one's just come, or the second hand one. It looks like it looks about the same. It's got different numbers on the top, but I'll have to clean that up and have a look what it says. But uh, the thing I'm not quite sure about is how I'm going to fit the exhaust pipe. Because the studs I got look too big. But I suppose if I clean that out with a tap or something, it might go in there. But this one's all been knackered, so put a bolt through there, I suspect. Well, the old one did have a bolt through it. You can see the one that's actually got the stud gone through. But yeah, before that's fair, I've got the original. All it did was leak a bit of exhaust gas, but I prefer to have one which doesn't have a crack in it. Now I've bought it. So it's good. I'll start cleaning all this up, and then I should be able to get video of me putting it on. So that's this end of the pipe done. See, it's a TED one because it goes through the manifold to heat it up before it goes into the... No, the rocker cover heats up the gases before it goes back in. So if there's some TV, it doesn't matter. Screwing this in here by hand. Then I will get, if I remember off the top of my head, one and one sixteenth, or is it one inch? No, it's smaller than that. No, much smaller. So. I haven't done this in as long a time. Because our other tractor, the 35, we've got this pipe was missing when we got it, so it was just blowing hot air up into the top, under the fuel tank. Which was alright, it just made the mixture a bit off in the carburetor. Oh, that's on there. Not too much. It's tight, that one's tight. That's another thing, back to get it on the tractor. Not sure what I'm going to do next. Uh, probably best if I push the throttle rod back through here and into here. Right, so I'll do that and then come back. Okay, I've, I was going to try and video putting the carb on, but the lighting in the workshop was coming through that top window and it was terrible, so I didn't bother. But I've got the well, that needs to be tightened a bit. The carburetor itself on, bolted on here fuel line putting back on. This Jubilee clip was on here because the brass nut is cracked halfway along. Obviously someone's put too much uh, of the plumber's tape on there one time in its life. But I put a few wraps around it. You can see the brass nut starts to open up and then you put Jubilee clip on it, clamps back down and it shouldn't leak. Shouldn't. I've also got the uh, choke linkage on, which I didn't just put a cotton, little tiny split pin in the back of there. That's surprisingly difficult to get on. Uh, and then I can try and set all of this. I can put this back on with a new copper pin. Because the little pins here. Oh, yeah, might as well go in while I'm filming this. Difficult looking at what I'm doing and looking at the camera screen. You get a nice look at the fan belt as well while I'm doing it. A little bit of wear in that, but it's, what's it, 68 years old. It's going to have a bit of wear in it. Right, I'll get those linkages connected up and then and then I'll start the camera again.